<laughs> What's up, YouTube? It's your girl. Huh? Oh, you can't hear me too well? I'm sorry. Hold on. Let me fix this. I'm just trying, I'm trying to keep everybody safe out here, you know? I'm just trying to make sure I don't spread any of my germs. <clears throat> Let's try this again, shall we? What's up, YouTube? It's your girl, Tia B. And you are in the place to be with me. Thanks for tuning in. If you're new to my channel, welcome. Uh, at this time, if you like to, like, comment, and subscribe if your heart so desires. I try to take a lot of um, uh, like health uh, information and convey it in a fun way. Uh, every now and then, I'll drop a video on some exercises that you could try out. But today, we're going to dive into um, two masks or not to mask and that is a big question a lot of people nowadays i've been seeing a lot of people wearing masks i've been seeing a lot of people not wearing masks um i will say that even though it seems like things are calmed down truth be told we still need to take precautions um cdc is constantly coming out with information um, just telling people we need to continue to take this seriously. Um, but what I'm going to do is I'm going to drop the link below so that you can also dive into this information yourself. Um, but my friends at Everyday Health, they don't know it, but yes, they are my friends. <laughs> my friends at Everyday Health, um, they send out a email every now and then. Uh, well, just about every day, and it's giving information of all sorts and all kinds. So I'm going to recommend that you check them out because they talk about just about everything under the sun when it comes to health. You name it, they have it. And today we're going to talk about: Do you really need to wear a mask in the summertime? Oh boy! Now, even though it's getting hot outside and we're all thinking, geez, I can't breathe, <laughs> it's hot underneath of here, they have a lot of masks that um, are helpful. I actually have one that has the filters on there I mainly use for cutting grass. Um, I'll try to drop a picture right here. Um, I actually got it through Amazon and I'll actually drop the link below as well. Um, if you are a grass cutter as well as an allergy sufferer, <laughs> these work wonders um, so try it out if you would like and it's also good if you are um, into fitness as well uh, it will help uh, your breathing so I did find when cutting the grass and using it my breathing has gotten a lot better so let's go ahead and dive into this information but first I need my handy dandy glasses because I cannot see without them Oh, hi guys, it's good to see you. All right, so uh, now a few months ago when the outbreak first happened, CDC was basically saying that if you were experiencing symptoms of COVID-19, to wear a mask. That way you were able to keep those around you safe. Uh, that way you weren't spreading the germs. Now, however, um, in April, CDC they had to do an about face and they basically were saying, oh look, about face, there's my face. Um, they basically were saying that um, everyone needed to wear something, something to cover their mask, something that covered around the sides of their face and under their chin, uh, especially if you were in grocery stores, pharmacies, or in other settings where social distancing um, could not be maintained, um, especially in parts of the country uh, where COVID-19 transmission, they had a lot of uh, COVID sharing. I'm just what I'm going to say, COVID sharing. Um, now, while some people were pushing back saying that, no, you don't have to wear a mask, uh, it caught on pretty quick because people were seeing that if you social distance, if you wore a mask, there was a chance that there could be some type of... Um, blocking of sharing the COVID. Uh, so even though a lot of uh, policies have shifted rapidly, um, a lot of people are still unclear. They're unclear. They're one clear. People are still unclear what they should be doing um, when it comes to wearing masks. Um, now, a lot of uh, states have lifted their lockdowns and a lot of people are out and about now. Um, one of the best things that you could do is just try your best to maintain 
uh, your social distancing. And if you're unable to maintain social distancing, wear a mask, you know, cover yourself, keep yourself safe. Um, I can guarantee you there, there's probably plenty of asymptomatic people that's walking around and don't even realize it. And right now they're all like, yes. Did you see that? Let me try it again. Yes. And they're spreading their germs. And if you're not covered, you can easily pick them up. I'm not saying that you can't pick up any type of germs, but especially right now with this being such a big um, uh, infection that's easily caught. Um, yeah, just use precaution. So a lot of people want to know is why did they first say that we didn't need to wear a mask? And then all of a sudden now they're saying that we do need to wear a mask. Now, due to the um, spread of Corona, um, it became clear that, as I stated earlier, you can be a carrier, but not have symptoms of it. A study published, and like I said, I'm reading off of information for everydayhealth.com, but a study published on May 27 by the journal Thorax found that 81% of 128 cruise passengers who tested positive for COVID-19 had no symptoms. So that's pretty creepy. You could be walking past someone and they don't have on a mask and they are carrying and they do not know. Again, be very cautious. Make sure that you mask up when you are out. Um, even when I go for walks, um, I try to be as cautious as possible because you're going by people and they're all <laughs> breathing all crazy. <laughs> so you don't know if they're carriers. You don't even know if yourself, if you are a carrier. So use as uh, many precautions as possible. So knowing that um, an asymptomatic person can spread this disease, it changed the whole thought process of wearing masks because it's so easily shareable. Um, and we don't want to be like a shareable dish from a favorite restaurant. We are not trying to share our germs. So stay masked up. So am I protected from the coronavirus if I wear a mask? Um, Robert Glattner, he's a doctor at the Department of Emergency, Lenox Hill Hospital in New York City, he stresses that the goal of wearing masks is not so much to protect yourself, but it's a safeguard um, for others around you, especially our older population, um, those who have chronic medical conditions like heart disease, diabetes, obesity, or even chronic uh, kidney disease. We're also protecting our younger population as well who may have weak early immune systems. Um, so as a result, wearing a mask, in essence, we are actually covering each other and keeping each other safe. But it's not just so much of wearing a mask, but just the simple practice of washing your hands. Not so much using hand sanitizer. Hand sanitizer is that quick fix for that moment. But when you actually put in time, not just washing your hands, but going down your arms, your wrists, all the way up to your arm, uh, to your elbow, is actually a really good practice of washing your hands. And then also following and practicing social distancing. There's still people that like to be over your shoulder still when you're in groceries grocery stores. I've actually have had that and I kind of had to look behind me and they were, oh, I'm sorry. I'm like, yeah, don't breathe on me, please. I don't want to take that home. You're all up in my airspace, breathing your hot breath down my neck. Oh. Now, is there a right or a wrong way to wear a mask? Um, and can you lower it so it covers only your mouth? Now that kind of defeats the purpose of wearing a mask if you lower it over your mouth, you know, just to cover your mouth. Um, the CD says that your CDC says that face covering should fit snugly um, but comfortably around the sides of your face and under your chin. It should cover your nose as well as your mouth at the same time. Um, you want to have maximum protection. 
So wearing a mask when you just pull it down um, over your mouth really is not giving you the protection that you need. Um, <laughs> I, we the CDC understands that wearing a mask all day, it can be very annoying um, at times that people want to take take a break from it. Um, what people don't understand is when you repeatedly touch your, ma- your mask with unwashed hands, what ends up happening is it's a surefire way of um, contaminating the mask with skin flora and bacteria that resides on the neck as well as the chin. So be very cautious um, if you need to remove your mask. Go to the bathroom, wash your hands, bring it down for a little bit, and then put it right back up. But uh, repeatedly all day, but as you can see, as I just scratched my nose, I should probably do a nose count. How many times did I touch my nose? It's so crazy how much our hands want to be in our faces, and then having the mask, we're still moving the mask up and down. I know when I go into my office space, um, once I get to my desk, I pull it down. I work a little bit. And then if somebody comes to talk to me, I'm pulling it up. So I'm preaching to the choir just to be just need to be more cautious um, with our hands and our face, especially at this time. So some of the questions uh, people ask are, do I need to have a mask professionally made? Um, you do not need to. CDC does have guidelines on how you can take just the everyday ordinary materials around your house to create a face covering as long as it's covering your nose, mouth, side of your face, and the bottom of your chin. Um, it is an effective way to um, to uh, try to keep from the spread. Um, now, unless you're like myself, <laughs> where I like to coordinate everything, as you can see, I got my Baltimore Ravens one. I also have blue. I've got red. I got orange. I got ones that patterns that actually match shirts that I have. Thanks, mom. She's been making masks, um, sharing the love around here as well. Um, you really don't have to have a professionally made mask unless it's something that you really, really want. Um, the next question, how often do you clean your mask? Um, at least, at least it needs to be laundered regularly. And you can actually throw it into your clothes, um, wash them, dry them. I know I throw mine into my um, with my clothes as well, and um, I wash them and I just hang dry them, um, just to kind of you know keep the longevity. But if you don't throw it into um, the laundry with your clothes, you can um, hand wash them with warm water and a liquid detergent, and just allow it to air dry. Now. Do I have to wear a mask every time I go outdoors? Well, it depends on how densely populated the outdoor area is. If it's in a busy area, um, like a park or a busy sidewalk or other public areas where it's difficult to social distance, by all means, still wear a mask. They are advising that you continue to wear a mask. And just keep in mind, don't 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 forget there could be very well an infectious person that does not know because they're showing absolutely no symptoms of COVID. And all it takes is for them to take a phone call and they slide that mask down as <laughs> and germs are just like and you just so happen to walk into it. So take as many precautions as possible. Now we are in the months of hot weather and summer and heat. So you're wearing a mask. Your skin gets irritated. It's hot, it's sweaty. I mean, you're already breathing in um, your own, uh, sorry, your own saliva and moisture from your breath, and it's going to irritate your skin. So, what's one of the easiest things to do? Well, for one, do you wash your face on a regular? Yes, yes. Just wash your face with a mild. Gentle fragrance free soap. <laughs> Sorry. Anyway, I just sound really awesome with this microphone. Do y'all like this microphone? I like this microphone too. <laughs> so just wash your face with a fragrance free soap um, just to clear anything off that can help um, k- 
keep any irritation down. Apply a mild moisturizer. Um, Vaseline Intensive Care is a great one. You just put a little bit on your hands and just moisturize your face. Ladies, we like to beat our face before we go out and we like to look nice. Yeah. You might want to minimize your makeup wearing. What it does is it clogs the pores in your face, um, which keeps your skin from breathing as much as it needs to. And what ends up essentially can happen is we can cause irritation just from clogging our pores from breathing and then we're wearing a mask and that can cause um, even more irritation. Um, find a more comfortable mask. Uh, I do know a couple of times I've had to adjust the mask. Um, I actually have like an adjuster in, um, that I can put in the back for um, like this string right here is just a little too long. But I had it wearing at work and I had it pressed on my face so tight. It was very annoying. So just find a comfortable mask, something that's going to still give you that coverage, that protection, but will allow your skin to still be able to breathe. And then wear fabric um, that's not irritating. Find something that's not going to, um, it's going to be a little softer on the skin and not so much of a rough um fabric on the inside um and also and also because a lot of some people are concerned with but i may end up with a um face mask uh sun tan look just as you as you wash your face you can very well moisturize your face with a spf 30 which will help you to maintain a beautiful tan during the summer and you won't have your little well be walking around looking like little bears man little bear face might look cute i don't know <laughs> now social media has put out there that wearing face coverings can interfere with breathing and may even be dangerous um they are saying that despite the rumors face coverings for adults are safe to wear uh, remember we are doing um, safeguarding not just ourselves but others around us and if you have family members that are high risk we are trying to keep them safe as well by making sure we don't bring home the spread of germs to them now the cdc does warn that children under the age of two that um if you put a mask on them that children under the age of two could very well suffocate from wearing a mask and may even choke on a mask. So be very careful um, when you have young kids out, um, just being aware of if you put a mask on them, that is your choice, your decision, but be very cautious and be very attentive to them to make sure that they are well. Um, one of the practices that I use, uh, I have older parents that live with me. Um, right now, my mother is actually, uh, she had, cancer removed about three weeks ago and this is her third time around and she's going to be starting radiation which means immune system will be dropping i have younger children as well in my home um my husband has pre-existing um uh health issues as well so one of my practices that i do is when i come home I don't really talk to no one. I just wave. I go right upstairs. I take everything off, throw it into the dirty clothes. I take a shower from head to toe. Um, throughout the day, I'm washing my hands continually. Make sure um, you know our phones, we're, we use our phones so much. Spray with a little Lysol. It's not going to hurt it. Just spray it and wipe it down. Use as many um, precautions and uh cleaning practices as possible um it's crazy to say that there are a lot of funky people out there i'm just gonna be real for a moment because all of the soap <laughs> hand washing soap was gone for months and it's like wow bleach gone for months so let's start practicing being more clean let's start practicing washing our hands more so that we can take this spread of the um this virus and kind of bring it down a little bit until they can figure out what they're going to do as far as finding a cure for it or a vaccine 
So I hope that you enjoyed this and that you got as much information out of it as I did. Uh, make sure that you go check out everydayhealth.com. Uh, like I said, they have everything under the sun that they have um, articles on. Some of the emails come in and I'm looking at it like, what? <laughs> I didn't know. Oh, okay. <laughs> so check them out. Subscribe to the newsletter. I'm telling you, you'll get a lot of information. You'll learn a lot. Uh, I'll make sure that I drop their link below. Hope that you enjoyed this video. Until next time, it's your girl Tia B. The health with it.